institution interactions or uh, at um, what you can say uh, nowadays we are uh, startup they are coming with the academics that is the most reason because academics know how to write the paper and industry know the how to solve the problems industry know how to solve the problems and we are carrying out the research for day to day now you are doing lot of practicals you are teaching lot of subject day to day and you are carrying out the research in every day only thing that you you are not thinking or your thought process is not gone in that way or in that direction but the basic fundamental reason we are not produce a good research you are carrying out every day you are doing the research you are teaching the subject you are solving the many problems you are doing the lot of experiment in the labs you are developing the new experimental setup you are carrying out the simulation but you are not in that mode ki how i publish what is the research work it, it, uh, that can be aligned with my semi, uh, subject or with my syllabus if you align that you will able to publish or able to write a good paper i am telling you there is a one journal of america that is the sage publications which accept the paper which you have done something great or something new idea implemented in teaching and research that in the laboratories suppose you applied you applied a supervision theorem in the different manner in the laboratory for teaching the student that can be your research and that can be accepted by the sage publication sage you, you can see you can google that and you you can publish that paper also it is not re research means you have to do the phd or you have to do the on the particular topic day to day you are carrying out the research only thing that you are not jotted down that and you are not trying to write that in the proper manner or you are not trying to present in that proper manner and that is the basic lacuna of our things we are we don't think we can, we, are, we are not trying to align our student mind also as a ug or pg student we are we have to try to align our minds if you align your mind with the proper subject or syllabus or practical you align with the according to research syllabus you, they will able to write a good paper you know, they are the good uh, asset for the organization or the, they are the good asset for you as a guide to them now why do wish a publish a paper yeah anyone why do you wish to publish the paper someone told you to write the paper that's why you are writing or someone uh, you want to get something new, monetary benefit financially that's why you are writing the paper yeah why do you publish the paper yeah anyone i have written it something why do you want so best first things you want to share your discoveries and knowledge means whatever you have developed whatever you have generate from your mind whatever your ideas you want to share with the others throughout the all over world and that's why that is the first part you, you want to wish to publish a paper then you want to gain prestige as well as recognition in terms of in terms of what citation in terms of what citation lot of people are not publish the paper because they are not aware of that but you want recognition and your recognition is in terms of the google citations how many people people are use that paper that is your recognition required for program or degree if you want uh, working on your research which will culminate in your phd degree then you have to write the research paper publish the research paper that is the mandatory requirement of the university assessment in some career based publications that is assessment you are carrying out that the professor or uh, yeah senior professor or some uh, if you want to uh, apply the funding some project dst projects and all it is required secondary benefits is writing promotes better understanding when you write a paper on a particular technology your own knowledge your own hori um, research origin and knowledge origin will be increased your own knowledge understanding about that particular subject will enhance like anything next is you you will know that logical organization required clarity of the thoughts opens per new ideas 
and both by authors and others means who shall read your paper they are also a probable author in future and that's why while writing the paper or while presenting the paper you should be take care of that your readers are the prominent authors the readers are also a prominent author in the future readers are also prominent author in the future what constitutes the research what constitutes the research you are carrying the research day to day life you are carrying the research and uh, for that research is the reward is the your uh, uh, citation how many papers are reading your paper otherwise lot of people uh, written the paper but the people are not understanding those paper you know i don't understand sometimes some papers that is the things so as to the definition of research given by the coulombs and williams are gathering the information you need to answer the questions and thereby help you solve the problems means first you gather the information what you want you have some question in your mind so for that you will gather some information and thereby you have to solve the problems then research may be defined as hunting for the facts or truth about the particular subject means you are you have desire to hunt for a particular topic or particular solution there are lot of problem to the society and one thing you have to keep in mind you have to carry out the research which will help the society and that is the excellent research apart from the degree apart from anything if your research can reach to the society normal society in the world and that is the base research what i can say the next is maybe organizes scientific investigation to solve the uh, to solve the problems test develop the invent a new product something new product for the society suppose nowadays solar lamp you can develop a small solar lamp which can be uses where the electricity is not there uh, yeah someone uh, uh, posed the questions ki you want to learn from the others knowledge definitely is a learning learning when you write the paper you will learn from the others you will learn from the others and it is the uh, as a teacher we how to learn every day you cannot stop your learning once you stop the learning you are finish if you are stop the learning you are becoming illiterate in future and one thing as a teacher as a researcher you should adopt a new technology you should be adaptive you should be learn day by day daily you have to learn something and then and then you can progress your career then research must be systematic and any form can fall into category of the research research are generally cyclic is going from one solution to another problem and so on and therefore your paper should be help to continue chain of the research means once you solve one problem it will be help someone to start their research your paper research paper is with such a manner ki when you write it will help to other to start their research from that point so again uh, that is the original idea you can say that uh, research the original idea improvement of the existing technique new algorithm to solve existing problems simulation model hardware implement and new application existing improvement of the control strategies some more nowadays ai people are using ai now machine learning when i have done the research ai is the boom now people are using people are using the deep learning then machine learning then uh, re regression method lot of uh, people are applying and they are critical review someone the, write the uh, you can write a review paper of the existing works also you can read a 50 papers and uh, produce one res good research paper but that 50 papers the your research uh, review should be very critical and thorough you should not be like that ki upar you can cut and paste you cannot make a paper with the cut and paste compared to study of existing method solution development of the new material and it is a step what are the steps in conducting the research first you have to ask the questions ki what is my area what is my problem what problem i want to find a solution identify the important factor problem statement means what a factor affecting those problem why i am not getting the solution with the existing method then collecting the relevant informations now you will read the lot of papers which 
people address this the, those problem with that method but to there is a lot of lacuna my performance or my system is not improved then testing the hypothesis i will test some methods apply new algorithm try to change some parameters and then testing for hypothesis then working and hypothesis then incorporating and adding new questions once i get the some result again i will add the more questions and test my hypothesis and states my questions now what are the objective of my research once you have selected the topic for your research once once you uh, you have selected your topic for your research you can get clarity on the paper statement for your objective by answering the quick questions what are the things once you start the research or you want to try the um, uh, to uh, try to formulate your problem statement then you have to ask some question before go in detail what motivation of your work what is your motivation of your work because is there in practically problems in the teaching or it is the industries or in some education institute that are ready and how i that, that is my motivation then what was the problem to which the research provide a solution what's the problem you have to identify what the problem from the literature then what your expected result of that uh, research or at end of the project we should know that then how is the, your work better than paper you have surveyed means how your work will be better from the existing paper or existing solution then the objective should be clearly stated in the abstract of your paper in the brief and discussed slightly more in detail in the introduction means whenever you write a paper whenever you write a paper whenever you write a paper your objective of the paper should be clearly stated in the abstract of the paper in the brief and that should come in the abstract and discuss slightly more in the detail in the introductions slightly more detail in the introductions then why should you care about writing and first thing when you are you writing first you have to become a sophisticated clerk means if you write a good paper you have to become a sophisticated clerk you cannot give the paper to write to someone to make a figure to someone and after research you will definitely become an expert clerk first things don't be frustrated ki yaar i have to write i have to type i have to just, because no one can write like you so first you become a, a sophisticated make a mental make up ki you have to become a good writer and english writer then next is a sophisticated clerk you have to make it then why should you care about writing you must communicate your work to the world If the people don't know about you, it won't use it. If people don't know about it, they won't use it. If you are not write the paper, increase probability of adoptions. Your adoption rate should be more than clear writing required. Clear thinking. Your thinking should be very clear. That I have to write on this topic. I have to write this this things. Your mind, because on the white paper, if you are thinking, you are whatever coming from the your mind. the sweat will come on the white paper and that is the research this is the that science part be kind of your uh, uh, readers you have to think about the reader before writing the papers good writing can be joy or bad writing for me is a agony this skill transfer to others and where you can teach others how to write once you gain that expertise and you have to go it is my personal experience you have to go that much amount of process you have to waste that much amount of time then and then you you can become you can write the good paper you will get lot of times you will get unsuccess rejections don't bother don't fed up but try to learn from the your rejections of the paper try to learn if you not learn from that if you think that my paper is rejected i will not write other paper you try to work upon those comments what you are giving by the editor and reviewers and then and then you start your review and try to see uh, what reframe those comment try to work on those comment of the reviewer then what to publish and what to not publish new or original result or method that advance in the knowledge and understanding in certain scientific fields 
means original result methods or advancement of the existing method that has to be published review or summarized particular subject means review paper can be published with the 1000 paper or 100 paper and out of that 50 papers you have to critically review complete review ki what that paper uh, said what are the problem findings of those paper and what is the lacuna or disadvantage or limitation of that techniques you have, you have to write your own comments or own remaker recommendation and that will become your review paper do not consider to publish result with lack of scientific interest means where your scientific interest is very low or the results are very low is not it is a common result then don't try to publish <coughs> outdated work don't try to publish outdated work <laughs> then duplication of work already published someone has already worked you can improve that work but improvement in uh, should be substantial is not like that ki uh, you do the some simulation and publish or change four parameter and publish that is not like incorrect data or conclusion not supported by the data you should not take the uh, fraud data or fabricated data you need a strong manuscript to present your contribution to the scientific community means your manuscript should be strong enough in terms of the result new ideas novelty then and then you can uh, able to publish your papers then next is goal of your paper what are the goal of your papers you must know ki what is my goals to publish a paper communicate ideas and experiments suppose i have develop a new experiment in my laboratory which is not implemented across the board in india or aicd uh, um, uh, reputed institutions then that to that, that i have to communicate in terms of the paper or in terms of the research because that is my novelty that you can write that's why i am telling you you are carrying out the research every day while teaching the student while working in the lab only thing that you are not trying to align to the syllabus and align in terms of the research paper change your focus change your thought process you will able to produce a good paper short paper two line three line paper but it will be worth writing those articles or those paper in the magazines and there are a the lot of free magazines they accept those things lot of free magazines lot of free conferences available lot of free journals available they accept those things describe experiment and results allow others to produce your result precisely means you have to write the paper someone can mtech guy mtech guy can work mtech um, candidate can work the dissertation to produce the same result they will enjoy if they understand good and they will cite your paper in their research uh, thesis then important know the focus of your paper it takes a wise man to know whether he has found the rope or lost a mule means whenever you start your research you should know what is my expected result whether i am getting or not you try to find something but you are getting something different but don't worry that can be wrong result can be published some journals are there they publish the wrong result also and it is a research wrong result getting wrong result is also a research don't say that ki i am not get the result so that my results are wrong it is publish people accept it because it will give the idea to work others work others and start from that point for finding the research gap finding the research gap that's why wrong result also give the is a good research don't say that ki i did not get the results so that it cannot be published it can be published but you have to justify it you have to justify it in the writing the while writing the paper now one of the most important part while writing the paper is a literature survey now one thing i can tell you if your literature survey is strong in any research or any writing the paper you are paper will definitely accept if your literature survey 
is a strong again your half of the research is done if your literature survey is a weak then you will face a problem while carrying out the research this is my personal experience i am telling you i gone gone to that stages my literature survey is very strong i can produce lot many papers i can do my my direction is very very clear from the once you carry out the strong literature survey you will get the clarity to carry out your research and that's why refer those paper which have a most cited paper start your literature survey with the google cited paper most cited paper which are paper are most cited and then you start with the literature survey or back counting first you start read those that, that paper and then start because if the, that paper is using by the thousand people means it is having something new or something good to read that paper something good to that read paper and as you know that literature survey help to get perspective and cook a work already existing area of the interest living literature also allows to understand how others are approach means you will know that from the literature you know that how others are approach or solve those problems then technology trends in the area or what are the uh, research development in the area <coughs> excuse me connect the review to your work means whatever you are carrying out the research try to connect to your problems which provide you motivation for further research i like methodology that is singular uh, contribution to your field means you while carrying out the literature survey you should keep in mind that you have to try to align that literature survey to your research problem to your problem statement and that is the first part of your uh, writing the paper or first part of the your literature survey uh, research next point read the in latest published literature complete inside the problem take care understand the way of research in the area has evolved focus on the abstract and conclusion of the papers first you have to read the abstract of research paper that will give the lot of idea whether the paper has to read fully and conclusion don't miss the discussion sometimes read all journal in the including open access do the critical review of every papers see what future work can be carried out means you have to find out the research gap what are the limitations of that research and that will become your research gap for your paper or your research if you gone for the 10 paper on the same technology and back to back research means you read one paper then you type read the references of that paper then another reference of that paper then it will become your literature will become thorough and then you will know that ki what is the research gap in that paper what are, what are the author successfully write what are the limitation of those methods and that methods is your starting point of your research group paper survey meaningful segment modeling simulation all which are relevant to your areas means you have to read the paper which are relevant to your areas then next is language and clarity one should use a common word to say uncommon things what is the meaning of this means your language of writing the paper it should be easily understandable to the read uh, readers it should be the common language everyone should able ug pg or phd scholar will ab uh, has to able to understand your research if you are writing the big big words or big english people will not understand and you will not able to reach the more and more readers so that's why your language will be in the comfortable simple but grammatical free there should be no grammatical mistakes and you have to write in such a manner which should convey what you have done in your research or in your paper what you are trying to focus in your research what you are trying to focus in your research paper then authoring your paper that is the main topic of today's presentation till now so what are the parts of your research paper publishing choice choose an audience means what are your choices of publication whether you go i'll uh, detail paper structure ethics where to publish and 
uh, the author's tool. These are the major topics we'll uh, cover in another half an hour. Okay, to we'll start it now with the first things. What is the technical paper? Can you tell anyone? Anyone might be written the paper. What is the what from technical paper? What it conveys? What do you mean by technical paper? Anyone can answer? What do you mean by technical paper? Yeah, anyone? Anyone can answer? Hello? I am audible. I am audible or not? What is the technical paper or research paper? Yes, sir. Yeah, audible. yeah. yeah. Tell me, anyone can tell what is the technical paper? Why you are writing? You understand by the after technical paper. What do you understand? What do you understand from the technical paper? Yeah. So it is a brief and point to point document which describe the body of technical research technical paper is nothing but a brief concise and point to point document which describe the body of technical work of on the particular topics you take a medical you take a yeah you take a um, any paper some new idea medical now people are doing the part of education yeah it's a solution which you convey some idea which you uh, you are getting from something new that's a technical paper now you, know, you can see that now now there is the covid is going on the covid is going on already uh, coronavirus is going on people will come up the solution okay people people may come up the solution solution for the tech uh, uh, they are will launch some new, new solution some people electrical engineer may work on after this some electrical engineer may work on the oxygen concentrate which comes some technology with the motors or generation plant and something because it's a um, very uh, big challenge for the electrical engineer now big challenge for as an electrical engineer it's a big challenge so the uh, brief is a technical document it is called as technical document in the layman language in technical terms you can say that it is a new idea new novelty or some methodology uh, which will explain in the brief in the technical paper in the six paper people may work uh, for the, for the years together but when you write the paper it may be for the six pages what what you are work for the one year or two year you are summar summarizing in the six pages or 10 pages so technical there are many types of technical papers one is a original research paper means what you have done actual work which is not not exist in the world then literature survey paper that is the your review papers journal papers which are having some methods or some in, uh, improvement in, in the existing methods then conference paper is a short paper that will explain in details and uh, they, they they are presented and it is a just initial idea generally conference paper are written with the initial research work or on the particular methods by applying that method you are improving uh, uh, improving your results and then later to the editors means if you find something you are writing the real a letter the editor for two pages he i have find out this concept and this is concept i can explain very well by applying something in the labs yeah i found uh, some subject i am teaching and i found that ki this algorithm can be developed like this and this algorithm can be implemented like this and that is my letter paper that is my letter paper what type of manuscript what are different types of manuscript that is a full article as well as original article the most important papers often substantial significant completed place of the work generally people are pub published at the end of the research work after finding their whole result simulation and hardware people are publish the full article and which will be generally 10 to 15 pages and which is the concrete work of their phd or research work later rapid communications and short communications 
quick and early communication of significant and original advances means it is just a letter rapid communication two three phrases check limitations or review review paper or prospective papers means you are uh, reviewing some 50 papers and then you are writing the papers and with some critical comments and you are recommending some future technology in that paper and that will become your review paper self evaluate of your paper if you have written some article in the full you can make small article for according to your some journal or some letters and that will become self evaluate ask your supervisor and your colleague for advice on the manuscript what you have written and they are the best judge so some uh, they are the best judge sometimes outsider can see things more clear than you because you feel that i have written i have done the great work but when the reviewer comments i get it then that okay so ask your supervisor and your colleagues for advice on the man manuscript type sometimes outsider can see even though i am not working on that area but i can see that here the, whether this paper is written properly whether he has focused on the things properly or he has presented the paper uh, well presented or well written or not his language his presentation of the graph is good or not that you have to show your colleagues or your supervisor publish journal or conferences that is your choice so journal paper or article or transactions is a fully developed presentation of your work and it's a final finding of your phd work or your research work or your completion of your r and d project generally in a uh, journal paper you will give the detailed methodology mathematical analysis comparative analysis of different method algorithm flow charts and what are your original research result presented findings then clear conclusion are made supported by the data then reference citations are more then a conference article can be written while research is going on means if you start your research and you got some result some prominent result you get you start you are focusing <laughs> that mai to ne bola na hamare baba ka ne jaane ki zarurat nahi tumhare ko to yeah. bolte pasand nahi na wo log ha तो मैं तो बोल रहा हूँ मुझे बोल के तो तुम कहीं कुछ आते जरूरत ही नहीं उनके पास जाने की बोला या कौन तरह अपना so now journal paper again publishing journal paper it is a time consuming it takes one year to two year if you are going for the transactions or good reputed journal which is having a impact factors okay and before writing the journal journal paper you have to give the proper data data means nowadays you are, if you are working on the machine learning or deep learning you and what data open source data you are using for that you should be very clear ki what data how much data or how much sample you are using for your training and what amount of data you are using for the testing or validations okay so then conference article can be written when the research is going on and you can present and you will get the feedback on your article when you upload uh, the conference you will go and present the people will suggest something or people post some question and you will learn from that question ki i have to carry out whether i am uh, going uh, my research is going in the right directions or not my, my research is going in the right directions or not so gain informal feedback not so much of the match equation not detail methodology Con conference paper generally are the short papers we generally conference paper are the six pages paper But why the journal paper or transaction paper are the detail one you are presenting or you are writing for the detail manner and which will your work of the 6 year or 7 years generally then what are the pros and cons for the ieee journal and uh, uh, it can be anything but just i have taken one example of ieee journal and uh, conferences so generally ieee journal cited three times more often uh, and in either um, general generally ieee is the most uh, cited platforms as compared to other platforms 
because i trip paper are readily available most of the times most of the college uh, taking the subscription institutional subscription for the i trip and then i trip conference post proceeding are recognized worldwide that is one of the advantage if you uh, publish any uh, any other conference it will not available but i trip conference paper are most cited paper generally what it is my experience personal experience i am telling you rather than journal my i trip conferences paper are more cited than journals what i because i have written very very simple manner ki even ug guy can understand that paper understand that result or mtech guy mtech candidate can produce this easily same precise with some modifications so and um, only problem is that i trip is that you have to present your article in the conference otherwise your paper will not be published in on the i trip explore the uh, but pro cons is there the publishing the paper in the i trip conference is very easy rather than journal because the rejection rate in the journal is more rather than conference so now audience who are the audience for your research paper that you have to think over it before writing your paper who read the scientific uh, research engineers scientists academicians corporate government who write the scientific paper means who are the writer they are also reader of your paper motivation of the focus of a student typically write industry participant join conferences paper but much smaller subset contribute journal article generally industry people are generally sharing the knowledge in the symposiums and uh, conferences generally now what is the structure of my paper or what are the elements of my manuscript that is first element is a title abstract keyword introduction methodology research and discussion conclusion and references now we'll take one by one what should be the title of the your paper and title is very very important part of your paper because people read the paper on your title so first is the element of a manuscript an effective title should be answer following question of the readers is the this article relevant to me first question as a reader it will comes in my mind is this paper is relevant to my research grab the reader as an attention means i have to grab the reader attention what reader wants you want to sell your paper or you want to reach more and more readers so first things your title of the paper should be in such manner catchy such ma catchy so that more and more people be catch in the first click or the google describe the content of the paper using fewest possible word in the page suppose i am searching or i am working on the induction motor so my uh, my title should be uh, suppose i am working on the real time control of induction motor so my title should be cover real time as well as induction motor means because some people are working on real time some people are working on the induction motor and it's a combination of both so when they add real time they may feel that you are uh, this is the one, one good application electrical engineer as a control engineer as a control engineer there is a control application to the electrical drives or power electronics so more and more people will take my results you can see that bad title and good title if i write control of induction mode in real time mode people will not catch but if i type real time control of induction motors more and more people more and more first it will come in the google first because first word is real time once people uh, the type in the real time it will comes as induction motor in induction motor it will come as a induction motor so that's why your title should define your work and whenever you write a complete paper it depends on your title complete paper is depend on your title title should convey the reader ki what this paper constitutes what inside this paper written what are the things written in the inside that papers and that is the first things how to develop your titles this is opportunity to attract your reader attention remember readers are the potential author who will cite your article if your title are not good people will not refer paper they will not uh, cite you keep 
it informative and concise the reviewer will check whether the title is specific what you are written inside the paper means your content of manuscript and your title they should be aligned they should be aligned means your reviewer will check whether the title is specific and whether it is a reflect the content of manuscript editor hate the titles no sense or fail to represent subject matter adequately they will reject outrightly in the first scene <clears throat> avoid technical jargon or abbreviation don't use the ai don't use the shortcut if you write in the article title you have to use artificial intelligence rather than ai large possible right discuss with your co-author or with your colleagues or with your supervisor the next part is a very very important part is the abstract of your manuscript abstract can condense version of your article means whatever you are going to write in your paper complete it is a summary of your complete article and abstract should become what you did how you did it what are the main finding conclusion and why they are useful importance in 150 to 250 words means whatever you are supposed to write in the complete paper that should be come in the that should be come in the abstract condensed version of the covers significance novelty methodology finding and conclusion uses key words and index term order this typical 150 words quite important for most readers they will be determined if they read the rest of the articles or not this reader will think that after reading the abstract whether this paper is useful in my research or not you should convey the reader this paper will be useful for you by reading the answer so abstract should be right in such a manner ki all these things should be covered what you did what you did how you did what are the methods findings conclusion why they are used for the importance then guidelines you should be spend more and more time on the abstract and after completing of your paper again you have to revisit your abstract whether it is aligned with your complete manuscript before sending your paper first you write abstract again write complete manuscript team conclusion and then you again revisit or rethink ki whether anything miss in my abstract because it is the important part of your paper and most of the online version of the paper online version full paper is not visible to the reader only abstract is visible so that reader should feel that ki yaar i should go for the complete paper it should be so important he will feel motivated ki i should read a complete paper he should feel more he should feel more motivated so that i should read a more paper uh, complete paper <clears throat> now next is abstract again okay? must be concise i have already covered it should be covered and uh, it should not uh, contain any mathematical equation only one paragraph not mathematical equation no tabular equations no uh, mathematical symbols three or four different keywords or important word that should be come into the papers no repetition page being repeated by the search engine means means it should be catch by the search engine immediately the search you have to write some words in the abstract which will be cap catch in the search engine ensure uh, your abstract read will be grammatically correct means you should no correction grammatically incorrect should not be there this is the one of the sample abstract of my paper so uh, you can see that what i have did i have written this is my real time control of induction motor so i have written it so what induction motor what you did means what is my induction motor <clears throat> what the development of the technology 
what the limitations and then i have written how i move forward to control by induction motor in real time how then i have how i did i have developed pi controller with the help of math backlab and simulink and then followed by the prototypes i have implemented in the hardware and then main result what i have achieved what i have achieved with this what i have achieved uh, with this these are the three parts ki what you did how the results move in the field forward how you did it and main result where i can apply this and what are my findings or conclusion this is my conclusion then first person present tense no unneeded word or sentence specific to the extent possible first person it should be in the present sense tense only and that should be the part of the abstract this is the good abstract next is keywords what are the keywords you have to use it so keywords use the title and abstract for enhance the search engine optimization generally the keywords should be logical applicable searchable specific and appropriate for example for my paper i have used the proportional integrated controller artificial neural networks real time control and deep space control and these are the uh, these are the these are these are the catchy words in the google or search engine if you add a proportional engine my abstract will show by the people then if i add nn people will get it if i add a real count my paper will come okay so this is the things keyword and these are the very very important every part of the research paper is very very important right from the title right from the abstract and right from the keywords now next very very important part is the introductions what is the introduction of the papers a description of the problem you research generally you should be step by step through you be written in the present form first you have to write ki what is the motivation first three four lines you have to write about the motivation about the topics and why why you chose these topics then generally known information about that topics prior research literature survey on those topic it should be is part of the introductions only it should be the part of introductions only first part ki why you are writing this paper or why you are carrying out the research in this topics then what are the present information of that topics what is the present status of the technology or status state of the work research work in that topics then prior study historically considered your research then what overview of the work result and contributions what you are carrying out what you are carrying out in this that is four five lines and then how the article is organizing in how many sections after the introductions what are the sections are there whether i am applying ai techniques why i am hardware implementation or i am at a mathematical modeling you have to write three four lines before start next sections so this is your organizations of your there should be not repetitions there should be no re repetitions tangential invert in relevant discussions aggregate discuss, uh, uh, discuss summary should the past work no should not be there and second thing you have to cite the paper previous paper in the introductions only you have to give the credit to the previous researcher you have to come out with the limitation of the that matters or previous researcher in introductions only you have to come out with the what are the present research what are the limitations and how i find out the solution or how i am present the solution in next succeeding para next succeeding para how i am presenting my next succeeding para how i am presenting in the next succeeding para that is my introductions that is my introductions so now you can see it introductions the place to convey the result that you know your work in the relevant area also answer series of question uh, answer a series of question what is your problem are there existing solution that i already told which one of the best you are presented here and what is the main limitation of that solution how do you hope they improve the contribution 
and this is the part of your introductions this is the part of your introductions means you have to answer those questions in the introductions what is the problem existing what they are existing solution for that problems and which is the one of the best uh, solution and what is the limitation of problem solved previous people or previous researcher and how do you hope to improve the contribution by you uh, by applying your algorithm or by applying your research and that is the part of introductions then next is you chance to convince the reader cite couple of that i already told you where their main limitations you have to cite the couple of original and important tasks including recent review and you have to uh, 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 um, uh, cite those paper which are relevant to your research don't cite unnecessary paper which is not relevant to your research which is not relevant to your research paper okay which is not re uh, relevant to your research paper now pitfalls of introductions we should not try to wordy more word than necessary then mix bag introduction with result discussion means your introduction should not be cover the result their discussions uh, and conclusion thrown for the good measure always keep the separate section introductions conclusion discussions result mathematical modeling all algorithms use the self meant follow on yourself excessive use of expression novel and first time first ever don't use expression more don't use the expression unnecessary don't use the expression unnecessary novel i am carrying out this first time no one is carried out in the world that is not should not be written in the introductions you talk about your work you don't talk about other you don't have any right to comment on the other works you don't have any right to comment on the other works now next is the important part of the paper is methodology which covers everything of your paper what is the methodology problem formulation and process you stole the prove the discrete hypothesis use illustration to clarify your ideas and suppose means it should be table present repository data or when exact value are important to this shows next your figure simulation result hardware result hardware diagrams all these should come into the methodology you can make a subsection also you can make in methodology you can make a subsection also or you can make a three section you generally first section is the introductions second section is start from the methodology and in methodology you can write a three sections generally total out of five sections out of five section three sections are methodology first section is the introductions and last section is the result and discussions generally any paper follows the five sub sections either conference or journal and first section is the introductions three section is a methodology which comprise of hardware presentation uh um, uh then uh, how to uh, algorithm mathematical modeling simulation uh, everything and models and hardware if the any picture graphs relationship between the data points and tends to data all these will come in the methodology only okay these are the part of the methodology so element of methodology are just now i told you new algorithm are tested using program simulation that is simulation results then test beds that is a prototype models write up how simulation result are carry out that is a part of the methodology with the help of matlab simulation with the help of lab view with the help of dispatch controller with the help of microcontroller or power grid or uh, no, what the other softwares are there in the power system that is scada everything everything you can write in the you can include in the how you are carried out the experimental ex experimentation what are the uh, equipment used that is the part of your methodology only discuss the experiment hardware are design if you design some hardware if you are using some converter inverter you add those things in the methodology only but you should not be too clumsy you should be very clear you have to write you have to present in the form of block diagram and then you summarize that block diagram into three four lines 
otherwise you will write one block completely then it will not part of the paper no one will have motivation to read your paper you should write in the quick crux manner very very crux manner then what are the types of graphics you have to use in the papers this is the very very important news there are a lot of tools color or gray scale figure generally you have to use figure are meant to appear colors or shade of the black and gray figure may be include photograph illustration multicolor graphs and flow charts now there there are lot of software which generate the colorful results getting your result doesn't means that your result are correct your result are correct only thing that you should be cross verify those result with some reference results you are getting after simulation lot of people are getting good results but it doesn't means either you should support that result with some theoretical on paper justifications or with justified with some reference results which are proven in the previous research or pre uh, proven by some researchers you cannot add the result which i find every result must have the theoretical justification if i getting the rise time for a particular system is 0.2 so i should be justified so what is my transfer function how i getting the time point uh, 2 in the graph then linear figure composed of black and white lines figure have to shape and grace tables data charts are typically black and white but sometimes includes data equation type your equation in the equation editor uh, editor and number them sequentially when you write the paper it should be very very important don't call, uh, take a snapshot or then don't take a um, snapshot of the uh, uh, equation from the books or some old paper that will not help you it is not look good and you have to mention if you have taken some material from the paper you have to cite you have to give the uh, due credit you have to give the good credit to that people those who have written that paper those who have invented those equations definitely you have to give the credit you have to cite those result i have taken this equation i have taken that figure from that paper cite the, that paper it is very very important if you are not giving the credit to particular researcher who will give the credit then you are referring and you are not giving the credit to that uh, researcher who will give the credit then because our main award or main reward or main appreciation of any researcher is getting cited by any one of the author or recognized by the any one of the author in his own research and that is the great achievement of writing of the paper great satisfaction of writing of the any papers <clears throat> result discussions and finding result discussions and finding so what are the di result discussions and finding demonstrate that you solved the problem and made significant advances you got some result in the terms of graphical manner in terms of numerical manner and it should be clear it should be the in the form of figures graph table numerical analysis discuss the main result with the reference to the previous result that i just now told and you have to write the discussion on every result you why you got this result what are the parameter and <clears throat> what is the interpretation what is the inference of those result what is the inference of that result then discussion interpret the research why your research offer a new solution why how how can it benefit other researcher professional acknowledge any repetition of your work potential concern work appreciate and it is the right for your future work you are writing for your future work you are writing for your future work you are writing for your future work and it should be it should be give you your work should be give the bottom line or initial line for the research for the new researcher for the future scope means from your result or discussion it should convey the reader that the future scope is that i can carry out the my research from this point 
I should carry out my research from this point. Okay. <clears throat> this are the result and discussion I shown is sample. Describe the detail, include healthy detailed discussions. The order of the figure should follow the discussion. Means you have to uh, follow the sequential order of the figure and their discussions. How the data compare with the contrast? You can see it here. This is my discussions. This is my numerical results. This is my hardware result. This is my simulation result. You can see that I have made numerical analysis also, graphical analysis also. It will convey clearly to what I find. What is my uh, aim of the, my paper? What is my what I achieved my after my papers? Okay. Now next is the conclusion. What is the conclusion? Explain what the research has achieved. Explain what the research has achieved. At it relates the problem stated in the introduction. Means whatever I have written in the introductions, whatever I have written in the introductions, that I have achieved in the conclusion. Revisit the key point in each section. Whatever I have written in each and every point. Include summary of main findings, important conclusion and implications. Provide benefits and shortcomings of your solution presented, your research and methodology. Suggest future area for the research, not repeat the abstract. Abstract and conclusions are different. What is the abstract? Abstract is the what you are presenting in the complete paper. But conclusion is means what are the findings after all this? What are the main findings and how I achieve the solution? But abstract is what you are doing? You are writing that I have implemented certain methods in the abstract. But here I will write it. I have achieved this result by applying this method. Ki I have my ANN controller gives a good result as compared to PI controller. That you have to come. That, that, that should be differentiated between the abstract and conclusion. It should be not repeated. People might be seeing that ki abstract and conclusion is same. But it is not same. It is not same. Okay? It is not same. Next is the references. This is a very, very important point because the reviewer, as a reviewer, I will foresee abstract and references. Whether you have used the references correctly or not. And they are generally, whenever they are publishing, they are uh, publishing the link cross reference with the Google Scholar or some other things. Support and validate the hypothesis your research and proof. Means you have to refer or cite those references which are relevant, which are relevant to your research, which are relevant to your research. There is no limit to the number of references. You can write 100 references, but use only those that are directly support to your work. Ensure proper author contributions. Author name, article, publication name, publisher, year, volume, DOI number. Nowadays, they are hiking the digital object identifier also. Follow uh, IEEE formats. Check the official published version of the citations. Means what is the official version of that article that you will get on the journal website. That DOI number or something or in the Google Scholar. Okay. So that is the your KRA. Then appendix. You might be seeing that why I am focusing that. This is the major important part of the paper. Because a lot of times you are not able to write mathematical equations or some data. That should go in the appendix. Because there are a lot of times there is a limitation of the paper pages. Because if you write a paper for IEEE conference or any conference, there is a limitation of the six pages. And you, uh, you will not able to see, you are not able to add all the things so that so that, that, that things should go, 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 that should go, that thing should be go, go in the appendix. Definitely it should go, that is the data, 
means parameter of the induction motor or parameter of the hardware or some mathematical model you have developed in the simulink that or mathematical equation because if you, you if your space is less you just write that those mathematical equation in the form of the appendix a appendix b appendix c like that but it is not understand Abs appendix is not absolutely necessary to understand the paper just it is data used for the experiment simulation can be given in the appendix and because on the basis of that people will judge people will judge because you have produced the result you are given the simulation result but you are not given the parameters and then how you cross verify those result how reviewer come to know ki whether your result are correct or not what is the uh, hp of the motor what is the rating of the motor what are the parameter what is the frequency anything so you, it should be go in the abstract now append it for you what are software you have to use for uh, preparations generally papers nowadays people are using the latex or what to get acquired in the powerful document preparation of the software and readable graphs in the result section avoid three dimensional graph excellent tool for generating the graph gnu plot is a excellent uh, tool otherwise you can use the snap tool there is a window there is a snip tool is available snipping tool is available you you should use with the matlab and you will get a good resolution with the graph. snipping tool snipping tool you have to use it okay you have to use the snipping tools now summary of you are preparing your manuscript uh that is the summary what is the summary what you have to do it summary preparing your manuscript is that you can should start writing before you have all the work done everything figure out but should not submit until they have done your parts you can think of writing the papers check your logical organization clarity and brevity also check the confirmation of the style with the journal you are submitting citation sections language detail matter good work presented poorly also you may know you are have a good result but you don't know how to present which will convey the reader or reviewer then it will definitely reject the paper means poorly rated poorly by the reviewers the review process is not intended to edit the manuscript lastly uh, because of time constraint we will not go much detail now there are certain ethics and values for guiding principles so maintain integrity of the publication because scientific integrity and reputability understand avoid unacceptable conduct that is plagiarism duplicate submission and all and value of the time you should not write any garbage also your own time you should not uh, waste your editor reviewer and reader time by writing the uh, garbage uh, research paper there are types of misconducts fraud data manipulation don't manipulate the data don't manipulate the result include any all, all who are made substantial integral contribution to the works don't add the authors so many authors who don't uh, make the contribution plagiarism nowadays plagiarism is a big issue as per the ugc policy there are three level qualification for any conferences now your plagiarism level should be below less than 10% your plagiarism level below 10% you cannot go more than 10% for any conference nowadays ethics scientific don't fabricate the other results data the data should be reproducible most of the people are using that but don't do that then conflict of the interest more and more common medical research you should not conflict your interest you should not be merge or common research with the other researcher there should be no commonality with the other researcher okay next is plagiarism avoid plagiarism because it is a separate clause you can be debarred from the publishing the papers from the action will be taken on your institutions or on you don't before sending the paper check your plagiarism 
cite the paper cite those author from where you have taken the figure from where you have taken the data there is a very very important and it is a very very serious issue nowadays duplication author should not be original work elsewhere and not under review means you are you not submit same work in the many journal or many conferences okay then reuse of the published material if you want to use your material from some other journal or some other things you should not do then you have to modify something and then you write you know you are the author of that previous writing paper and you should convey to the editor that things ki i have written the paper previously and now i have carried out the 50% changes i have uh, say keep 40% same thing okay do you submission don't submit the paper in other journals simultaneously people have habit that ki they are submitting the same paper in the two uh, two journal because they are thinking that ki this journal takes a more time and they have a counter argument i thought it will be faster if i type two places at the same time but if you caught it your publication get cancel in the both the places don't try to do that this is the ethics in publications don't do that disposal of double publication if you already submit try to inform to the editor ki i have already submit and the paper is accepted withdraw the manuscript from that journal withdraw withdraw that manuscript from my journal that journal then where to publish there are the different publication sources are available traditional general user library pay for access means lot of iaaa transactions elsewhere taylor and francis and lot of journals are there nowadays iaaa come up uh, every journal finger elsewhere they are come up with the uh, open access journal and these paper are free for the uh, readers but paid for the authors and but it is the one, one of the advantage of the open access is that your paper can reach more and more people in the world hybrid general some are open access author preference international conferences iaaa spinger elsewhere taylor and francis national conferences also national power system conference npsc like that there are the good conferences also then uh, impact factor good impact factor i will not go in one detail the journal who has good impact factor you can uh, publish and uh, presenting your work after accepting whenever you you will get the 8 minutes to publish so you have to make your presentation in such a manner that you are make, you are make the your presentation in a such a manner that ki you should understand who is your audience what is the purpose of my presentation and you have to throw those things which you have done don't throw other thing literature survey and all and you should make the slide so in the brief ki people should understand throw the results only throw the findings only and before presenting make one or two rehearsal of presentations even the online mode also you required a rehearsal practice because unless and until you are not able to convince the reader or participants your research is waste your main aim to reach more and more readers more and more participant understand your work that is ug pg and phd that is the ultimate aim of your writing the research paper then finally you can share your research that is your ultimate aim you want to share research it creating the new knowledge after doing the research you will able to create your own knowledge you will become a good type writer you will become a good clerk you will good become a good criticizer critical thinker thought process your uh, thinking will be you will thinks you will start asking the questions and i have also published one of the good journal in the india that is the iist journal the indian journal of technical education that one my article you can refer that article also a uh, systematic uh, approach to prepare a technical paper it is a very small paper i have written in uh, 2013 uh, where when, when i start my research was ongoing and it was well accepted uh, along with the, my guide and my guide guide to guide 
three people who have uh, written this paper that is systematic approach to prepare a technical man, uh, research paper and uh, finally you can reach to me on these three platforms i am uh, <clears throat> that is uh, these are the my three platforms i am in the google scholar and research gate and whatsapp number and mails now any questions i'll uh, answer those questions any questions <clears throat> yeah thanks for listening uh, thank you sir uh, yeah. it was a wonderful session from you uh, so is anyone wants to ask any question yes uh, any of the participants if you want to communicate with the sir uh, you can go ahead Okay, uh, sir, it was a wonderful sir, session. Sir, sir, good evening, sir. sir yeah, sir, good evening. tell me, tell me. Sir, 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 how much time sir, it will take for publishing? Sir, how to check plagiarism? There any sites are there before going? Uh, but nowadays the private, uh, if you check the open source software, it will not give the create uh, clear cut result. Sir, so sir. either you purchase a plagiarism checker, which will cost uh, two thousand or three thousand rupees uh, per year. or if you know someone in the institutions in the which they have a software plagiarism software that is a deal rate uh, or a term and time you can check from those software authenticated software don't use the open source software for checking okay. the plagiarism okay. if you submit with that result your plagiarism will be 60% or 50% okay thank you thank you very much yeah yes anyone else wants to ask any question how much time will it take to publish a paper which paper uh, you this want to go for which level which level you want to go technical technical, technical paper technical paper means you, uh, you want to go for conference you want to go for the normal journal or if you are going to the ieee journal or transactions no. that depends yeah normal, conference normal journal Normal uh, journal, normal it journal. may take six. Normal journal, just 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 like Indian journal, I manager journal is there. It may take six month to one year. Generally six month, it will be you will get the uh, result. Or paid journal, you will get the two three months, but that is not good. I am telling you, there are lot of paid journals, open source journal, they will give the confirmation in the one weeks. But those journals are not good. Don't waste your time to publish your paper on those journals. because you so might be research in, yeah research paper research, research paper. paper is a 6 month to 1 year minimum okay even the conferences also it will comes if you publish in the ieee conference generally uh, uh, submission to uh, uh, presentation it is 6 month after that 6 month it will comes to the ieee explore means complete one year journal it takes one year generally minimum thank you a very good evening sir sir yeah, yeah. datu hello ha huh, datu tell me yeah very good evening sir hmm. my name is haji datu i am working as a assistant professor in lords institute of engineering and technology the yeah, way you explain it is very nice sir and we learn so much from you thank you sir thank you so much <laughs> thanks sir it's my proud pleasure yes sir yes sir thank yeah. Uh, further, anyone has any questions? Uh, I think Minhas is in the diploma department. Last yeah. college. Yeah. I have a question, yeah. sir. You said the plagiarism is very important nowadays. Yeah. So is the plagiarism will be checked for the sentences or for the words, sir? Generally, as per the UGC, there is the one uh, UGC letter is there. You can go for the UGC gazettes. they are generally for eight words continuous consecutive eight words there should be uh, there should no consecutive eight words they have certain limits level they have decided you can go for that ugc uh, guidelines or ugt gazette on the plagiarism okay thank you sir okay. one more question sir yeah yeah uh, you said some particular format for writing a uh, thesis uh, paper yeah so like uh, Like the title, abstract, introduction, and some yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we can use any uh, any format, or we have to use only particular format, sir. No, no, it is the standard format from the most of the journals because title, abstract. This is the standard format. 
methodology, and then the conclusion. This is a standard format. Only your methodology changes in most of the paper. If you go for the review paper also, introduction will be there. Review paper also, there is a section. And then result and conclusion are the recommendations. Every paper, this is standard format. Most of the journals. Only their font may be changed or something change. Okay. One more question, sir. Yeah. Uh, so is there any... Uh, what is the difference we have with the conference paper and the journal paper? Conference paper is a short paper. Generally, it is easy to uh, publish also. And it is the when you start your research, that is a very good to uh, publish. You will know that whether you are going to the right directions or not. But general paper is a when you done the concrete result. Suppose you have applied one method, second method, simulation, and then comparative results. You are get the good result, new result. Then you go for the journal, and it will take some more time. Or journal conference paper is a well accepted. And when you are initial result, you will know that whether you are going your research is correct or not. You'll get the more, more 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 feedback. But if you go for the journal, you'll it will take more time. You'll not know that whether my, I'm going the right directions or not. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I have one question, sir. My, myself Abdul Karim. Sir, is yeah. there any free journals uh, for the? I'm not able. Please speak loudly. Is there any free journals for the youngsters? I mean, upcoming uh, who are interesting to publish the papers? Yeah, there are the lot of journals. Free journals are available. Uh, I can tell you. Uh, uh, even though um, I manager is a free journal, national journal, but very good journal. I manager. Okay, sir. Okay, you can okay. check the website and then uh, Journal of uh, Electrical Engineering Romania. It is a free journal for the uh, authors, okay, but sir. reader also it is free. Lot of journals you have to search, but your work should be very good. Yeah. Okay, sir. Go for the free journals. Your result should be have some novelty. Then and then it will be published. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you so much. Sir, I have one more question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The, uh, what is the difference between the review paper and uh, the uh, result-oriented papers, sir? Review paper is what is the things ki you have working on certain uh, research area. So you will refer the uh, suppose 50 papers on a particular topics, and you will read and you will so suppose 50 papers has implemented different different techniques or different different methods or different algorithm, and you will find it. Key are these are the things, these are the uh, limitation of each paper. When you write the review paper, na, you will carry out the literature survey and your uh, literature survey should be very, very extensive. Means you should refer 50 to 100 paper. And out of that, you will know that ki, how to write the review paper. And then you will focus on the limitations. And then you will find out ki, this method applied in this paper. But what are the limitations? And then you will come out that ki, which method in future you will apply. And what will be the uh, what are the limitation of those methods? You will can be uh, miss what you can uh, say that can be resolved those issues with some method, and that is your recommendation and conclusion of your review paper. Basically, it's a theoretical paper but extensive critical review of particular research topic. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Mm, thanks. 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 You Listen. have cleared all my doubts. Yeah. I'm very gra grateful to you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Great. Welcome. Yes, sir. Anyone further had any questions? Anyone wants to communicate further? Sir, how, how we can identify based on the impact value, sir? Paper. Impact value that the journal, uh, uh, every journal has an impact factor. That depends on the citation of that particular journal, those years, last two years, and that articles, how many articles. So it doesn't mean that, yeah, uh, don't go by the impact factors. I'm telling you, if you publish impact factor paper also, yeah, more, more and more people, it will not use. And it will not reach to the paper because these are the closed journal, basically. This is my experience, I'm telling you. Which I have published some uh, SCI and net paper, but that citation is very less. But those I have published in the lower, lower citation index or just impact factor is very low, that paper is more cited. So what do you say that? It is a, nowadays it is a condition for um, uh, uh, getting degree and all that is okay. But don't go for the high pi. If you go for the high pi, then it will take some more time also. It takes a two year also. To publication. If you go for the IEEE transactions and all, it will be two years. Hello. Hello, sir. Which is the best site to publish a paper, sir? 
which papers which uh, paper as a, i mean a, i mean sir now i have to publish a paper so uh, which side is a better one which side which area because which uh, uh, you you are electrical electrical sir. so you can go for the teller and francis you can go for the elsewhere spinger and uh, inter science also there but i triple is good i triple access nowadays good i triple access teller and francis then irmos is also there that is a paid one but good journal that is the scopus index irmos ah yes sir scopus romania that is romania it they may take 32000 when i publish my paper it is 9000 but not nowadays 32000 but it is thick month but it is good scopus index is good pair irmos also in moj okay. iprpli and uh, there is a romaria journal journal of electrical engineering it is a free and which has a impact factor of 1 okay uh, which one sir which one journal of electrical engineering j e e dot ro dot in j e e j e e dot ro romaria thank you sir. journal of electrical thank engineering you. thank you sir thank you sir Yes, further anyone has any questions? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Can you deliberate on uh, colloquium? Uh, no, <laughs> it is <laughs> not. It is not my area. <laughs> <laughs> But I can tell you, uh, colloquium is yours. You have to more focus. I am telling you first thing now. Uh, when uh, you you give the colloquium, you make it uh, first. You write your literature survey in the two slides. Generally, uh, this is my experience. and come out with the research gap and then objective and how uh, you address those objectives you write in the methodology and conclusion that's all that how will be papers? how huh? many slides how many slides it should be generally and 60 yeah. slide not more than 60 slide okay Because and uh, you should cover one hour, one hour not more than that sure. but uh, you it should cover all your results and findings okay 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 ठीक है Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks. 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 Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I think it's time now. Uh, we have to wind it up. So it's uh, been two hours. We have taken from you, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a wonderful session, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. You have been uh, talking about uh, completely from basics of the research. You have talking. and uh, you have given a complete picture of a paper like how we can go from abstract till the end like uh, the results and the conclusion every part you have described uh, such a wonderful sir uh, we are very much happy to have you and it was a really wonderful uh, session and you can see the feedbacks in the messages sir everyone they have appreciated you like uh, many of you were saying like uh, the presentation was very good and uh, excellent information like nice session and sir everyone was asking like to share the presentation because uh, they want to refer this presentation when they are writing the paper okay so possible i request you to please provide the presentation such that i can share with the participants okay most of the participants everyone are requesting for the presentation okay no problem i share uh, you can see the feedback sir everyone is very much happy with your uh, today's session sir so uh, one thing i can tell you just like share the research square the research basically i am telling you share the knowledge square the knowledge so now share the research and square the research you can give the tools to research others that is the one thing i can uh, from my side this is my own experience Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Presentation. Uh, it's a wonderful sentence. Actually, it can be uh, taken as a suggestion also to uh, take ahead my career because, like, uh, if I share my research, then only I can uh, gain the research ahead. So yeah, definitely. This is uh, uh, very much helpful for everyone. So, with this, I thank you a lot, sir. And yeah, uh, yeah. thanks, sir. Yes, uh, any of the participants, if you want to give a feedback on this uh, presentation orally within two minutes, you can go ahead, please. any of the participants yeah so good evening to the speaker and the participants of today's fdp so i'm uh, dr yeah. santan kumar hod triple e so first of all it is a wonderful session by the speaker and uh, our respected speaker has covered starting from starting uh, basics to 
conclusion conclusions so from title abstract introduction methodology how to write methodology how to model how to write modeling equations proposed methodology and uh, presenting the results and discussing results conclusions writing your references writing others so everything was covered in this session it is a wonderful session sir i thank you on behalf of lost instance of engineering and technology and the department of health and health engineering i thank you once again for the wonderful session sir hope we will have uh, such kind of sessions in future and this right, is right, our right. first thank fdp you, on research prep and and uh, this is our first fdp on research methodology so it is a good in initiation and good step ahead and we will uh, surely conduct uh, such sessions in future for the betterment of uh, our institute as well as the researchers across the country right thank you sir thanks you thank you once again thank you sir thank you sir thanks sir thanks a lot thank you sir so on behalf of uh, our institution large institute of engineering and technology and on behalf of the faculty of the department of tripoli and on my behalf and the, on the behalf of participants i thank you a lot sir for giving such a wonderful session and uh, now on the second stage i thank all the participants for making this session so successful and uh, thank you for participating and the link for feedback has been shared for you in the chat session and also i have shared the feedback link in the whatsapp group i request all of you to please provide your feedbacks such that we can better improve the sessions ahead also and uh, i expect the same support from all the participants in the future uh, conducting sessions also so thank you everyone thanks a lot uh, sir thank you sir so thank you thank you mish and uh, thank you sir log in log out yes sir yes sir thank, thank you sir thanks a lot thanks. ankur sir thank you so much for the for the session for yes, yes. Uh, wonderful session sir thank you so much ankur sir thank you thank you so much thank you sir hopefully this session was helpful for everyone yes sir it was very helpful sir thank you ankur sir thanks a lot yes, sir. yes sir we will conduct further also sir similar sessions uh, we expect the same support from your side thank you sir thank you once again ankur sir thank very you. good session thank you very much thank, thank you, you sir thank you sir excellent session Yes. Excellent thank session, you. sir. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Arshad, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very informative session. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, sir. So, okay, sir. Let us then uh, wind up with this now, and uh, we will uh, hopefully we will meet again with the new sessions, and we will provide more and more information as much as we can. Thank you, sir. Sir, certificate, certificate. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yes sir once if you fill the feedback form you will receive your uh, certificate to your mail okay sir okay thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir